I just want to make sure after everything my my son has been through that um, my ex-boyfriend gets the sentence he deserves. So that is a Butler County mother whose child's abuser went before a judge for sentencing. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but we were there. Yeah, Paul Rathamel was watching 10-week-old Oliver back in October of last year when prosecutors say he became frustrated, shaking the child and throwing him onto the bed. The little one suffered internal injuries. His mom says he's going to be dealing with that fallout for a long time. So Ken Brown spoke exclusively with the child's mother and joins us now live from Butler County. Yeah, that's right, guys. Cameras were allowed in the courtroom. We were just the only camera that was in the courtroom this afternoon as all of this happened. And I'll let you hear what Paul Rethemel had to say in the courtroom in just a moment. But it's a message that the mother of the victim, who's also his ex, was unable to hear because she was not present today. That's because her and her child moved states away to get a fresh start after all of this. Inside Judge Michael Oster's courtroom, Paul Rethemel cried as he apologized for his actions. Six months earlier, prosecutors say it was the cries of his son and his own frustrations that led us to this point. I'm just deeply sorry to my family, to my son, and the son's mother, for everything I've put him through. <laughs> I just never wanted any of this to happen. I know what I lived through and what I experienced and what Oliver went through and all I want and at the end of the day is for when Oliver does get older to look back and realize that he did get justice. Paul Rathamel pleaded guilty to two counts of child endangering after police say he got frustrated with his son and shook the child to the point where the 10 week old had injuries ranging from internal bleeding to traumatic brain injury and loss of consciousness. I'm Oliver's number one hope right now, and I, he keeps me going. All of his progress that he is making, even though it's little progress, I'm all he has in his corner right now. So I'm just going to continue to move forward and make strides for him because that's what he needs to move forward and get better. Judge Oster said while Rathamel may have made these mistakes over a short period of time, the effects of his actions have long-lasting implications for his son. Paul Rathamel was sentenced to a minimum of six years in prison with a mandatory probation after he's released. While his father goes to jail, Oliver's mother says their child is working daily to recover. His future is hopeful. That's all I can say. I know to expect delays. I know to expect certain things, but he's here, like you said, and I have him. And that's that's all I can ask for at this point. From 10 weeks old at the time of the crime to now 10 months old, Oliver should be doing things like sitting up and crawling. And his mother tells us that those things aren't really happening at this point uh, in his life. And she says that after an assessment, doctors said that the injuries that he was left with after this incident left him with little to no gross motor skills. rethamel has been in jail since October, so he is getting some credit for time served over the course of the last six months. But ultimately, as you heard, he was sentenced to six months in jail. He'll also have probation afterwards, and he's been ordered to pay a $700 fine. Reporting in Hamilton, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now.